Hello, my name is Kareen Worley and I'm currently in Japantown. I'm 19 years old and I study computer engineering at San Jose State University. I'm really glad to be here and I hope you enjoy this program. Hello, my name is Kelly Sum. First, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Benny Hanna. I'm 22 years old and currently attend San Jose State University studying industrial and systems engineering. Hello, my name is Nina Myers. First of all, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Takurasake USA Incorporated. I'm 22 years old and currently studying biology at Stanford University. I'd also like to, um, I'd also like to introduce our fellow court member, Taylor Davis, who wasn't able to be here today, even though she'd really like to be. Uh, she is sponsored by the Nikkei Lions Club of San Francisco. All right. Um, thank you so much, ladies, for coming here today for the interview. And um, I know yesterday was the coronation, so congratulations. So first of all, um, can you guys tell the audience how was it for you to enter the Queen program? I found about the Queen program throughout through baseball, and I thought, why not join? And my mother encouraged me. And ever since then, I've learned so much through interview practice, learning how to meet new people, talk with them, see new perspectives. It's been a wonderful journey so far, and I can't wait for what lies ahead. I heard about this Queen program because my mother participated in it in 1983. So it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I recently moved back to the community, and I wanted so that's why I decided to join the Queen program. I first heard about the program during a CBA hosted business conference and I decided that it was a really great opportunity to get involved in the larger Japanese American community which is something that I'd really been wanting to do but hadn't really had the chance to and so it's been a really great experience getting to meet the community and getting involved and really learning a lot about what it means to be Japanese American. Also, um, what have you learned from the experience? What I've learned so far is just to enjoy every moment, whether it's meeting new challenges, what matters is having a really good time, and just soaking everything in from every possibility, because what matters is the chance that might never come back again. I've learned a lot so much just from today visiting all the different types of exhibits and booths. I've learned how robust and how diverse this community is just within San Francisco. I mean, I come from San Jose and I, I know the community there, but this community is a whole nother world and I just can't wait to explore more Japanese American communities in California. I've really learned a lot about team, teamwork and community through this program. While going through rehearsals, it's really been my fellow court members who have helped, helped me learn so much and helped supported me. And today I, I've really been able to realize how large the community is and, and how close-knit everyone is. And so it's been really great to understand what, how close this community is and how important it is to all these individuals. All right, thank you so much. So like I said earlier, yesterday was the coronation. Um, can you guys tell the audience how was it and how do you guys feel about that right now at this moment? Everything went by so fast. I don't even remember exactly what I said on stage. Backstage, we were so nervous, so quiet, and every little encouragement that the crowd gave us, our mentors gave us, it really made a huge impact. and. It was just a wonderful time. Yes, the Queen program night was just a blur for me. But the most exciting thing that I, I experienced was wearing these furisodes, which are beautiful and such an honor to wear because it's been such a tradition in this Queen program. The program night was a lot of fun. It also was a blur for me. Everything went by so fast. But I think what really helped me calm down and not be as nervous was the fact that I had the support of my fellow court members and that I knew that in the audience, um, the audience was full of my friends and family. And that it was really great to know that all these people supported us. OK, so you guys all wear the really beautiful kimono today. And earlier you mentioned about the kimono um, project is the tradition of the Queen program. Can you tell the audience more about that? 
The kimono tradition is the Fujiyasu Company would every year donate a kimono to the queen. This is the lovely kimono. It's gorgeous and it's a long-standing tradition after the maker of the company, after World War II, received so many things from America. However, he realized that it was the Japanese Americans giving back. To give back to the Japanese Americans here, it was this beautiful kimono. Um, are there any events or activity coming up for the Queen program? Currently, the weekend after the second weekend of this festival, we are going to go to the Cupertino Cherry Blossom Festival, which is my hometown. And we will also be attending the Nikkei Festival as well in San Jose, which I actually live close by. So I'll be, we'll, both, we'll be going to that uh, the weekend after next. All right. Thank you, ladies, for coming here today and do the interview with us. And um, I'm sure um, the audience are looking forward for more activity from you guys. Thank you so much thank for having so much. us. Thank you.